Doretha Edgecombe is a gem in our community. She works tirelessly in education, supports so many children, supports our community, and is also an advocate for cancer research. The light that she gives off, that truly makes her a luminary. I'm a native Tampan, kind of a disappearing breed, if you will. I'm a member of a family of five. I, I'm the oldest girl. I have a set of twin sisters. We lived in a section of Tampa called Belmont Heights. Today we know it as East Tampa. I think of my childhood as being very protective. I grew up during the Jim Crow era, and my parents and the people around me really created what everybody now calls the village. The early years of my education was of course segregated, and the school that I attended initially was Harlem Academy that does not exist anymore but it was the first school for blacks in the Hillsborough County. My mother was a teacher there. I think about the materials that we used, the books. The books that we used were tattered and old and pages missing because they really were the books used by the white students in Hillsborough County. And we got them as a leftover and that was the way we learned. But what I remember most of all was the caring, positive, encouraging and inspiring ways that our teachers made us believe that we could do anything under any set of circumstances and that one day things were going to be different. She is a woman who when she walks in a room she has this aura of self-assurance. Doretha Edgecombe is probably one of the people in this community that I feel shows all kinds of love and care for children. Doretha's tenure on the Children's Board really shifted a focus for us to early learning and that those first three years of a child's life are the most important. Doretha's been invested in that all of her life. She is absolutely the consummate teacher and she proves that day in and day out. My relationship with Doretha Edgecombe goes back to our childhood days. We lived in the same neighborhood, we grew up together, and Doretha was always the teacher. So I knew then that she was going to be an educator like her mom, and she went on to become a great educator. It was really my eighth grade English teacher, whose name was Mrs. Fred, who really inspired me to become a teacher. I wanted to be just like her, sophisticated, smart, approachable, caring about kids. But I graduated from Middleton at 16, and I went to Talladega College in Alabama because I got a scholarship there. I came back to Tampa. I started my career as a seventh grade English teacher. She went on to marry her high school sweetheart, the late Judge George Edgecombe. George became the first African-American county court judge at 31, the youngest. Unfortunately, at 33, he died from leukemia. And so his life at that time was so full of great possibilities, but it wasn't to be. I was 31 at the time. Our daughter, Allison, uh, was five. And so for me, the most important thing that I focused on was being the very best parent that I needed to be for her. My mom has always been my support system because my mom was my mother and my father. And I know that I could go to her with anything or for anything. She was always there. You know, if there was something that I needed to help me with school or support me or just to listen as a friend, she did that without any hesitation. Doretha is also a very religious person. Her religion and her family go hand in hand and I have seen her go through some very trying times, but her faith and her belief pulled her through. I think coming back to Hillsborough County where she was born and raised from a long line of educators that uh, not only Doretha made an impact but her family also and she takes that legacy forward and she pays it forward and that has made the inspiration even greater. Doretha Edgecombe was a great teacher but she was also good with teachers 
She was always able to steer the ship. She also served as a principal of Booker T. Washington for a short period of time and a principal at Robles. But there was a time frame where Doretha actually made a tremendous amount of personal sacrifice to make sure that black teachers and black principals had a voice. 1974-75 was shortly after Hillsborough County Schools actually became integrated. So she was a part of that fight. During that period of time, Doretha was able to say to people, but what about, what about the black children? What about the black schools? What about those communities? Doretha would say very softly, but what are we gonna do about them? What are we gonna do for them? All the things and dreams and hopes and resources that I would want for my daughter, Allison, I would always have wanted for other children. And after getting encouragement from people, I decided to run for the school board. And so for 16 years, I was uh, a member of Hillsborough County School Board, and that's where I retired. When she became a school board member, you know, that was, and that's not something that she's always, you know, dreamed of doing. But when she took on that role, you could see the passion she had for it, the enjoyment she had for it, and the love for students, the love for students and teachers. Her legacy and impact on Hillsborough County is going to be children. And that's exactly why the board of the Children's Board of Hillsborough County named their Family Resource Center after her, the Doretha Wynn Edgecombe Family Resource Center. And it's all about children and families. For the last few years, Doretha has served on our justice team, whose mission is to encourage bridge building across our differences and to advocate for compassion, mercy, and justice throughout our community. So much of what makes Doretha so special is her commitment to community and the value of connection. In every way that she's involved in this church, she deeply desires people to feel connected. She is a shining star in this community. The biggest secret to my success, hmm, that's a pretty hard one, because there is no secret other than working hard. And give of yourself to other people. I think one of the biggest things that anybody can do is to be of service to somebody else.